All right, so we've made a blog and we've put our first post on the blog. And here's the sample blog we're working with at the moment. Let's talk a little bit about how you make your blog look a little bit better because this doesn't look that great. Um, over here in the layout, and again, in case you forgot how we got here, when you're on um, Blogger, when you're on Blogger, sorry about that little internet problem, you just click on the name of your blog and go to layout. You're going to be in this area a lot when you're first setting up your blog. This is how you change different design elements about your blog. All right. So uh, if you'll recall, when we set it up, we used a template, um, and that template was just simple. Uh, now you can customize that. Let's uh, just pick a different template, for example. Let's pick a picture window. All right. So if we pick that, and it has a um, little preview button pops open. You say, okay, I like that just a little bit better, so maybe I apply that to the blog. All right, and I just picked this one randomly. There's a, there's a lot of different ones you can pick. Um, so if we look at our blog right now, it looks like this. Now, uh, the header that I picked is not as wide as the body of this blog, so that doesn't look too good. And this image that is the background image uh, for this particular template is not wide enough for really widescreen monitors like the one I'm using right now while I'm recording this, so that doesn't look too good. So we're going to have to work on that. All right, so how do you do that? Well, back here on your template, you can click this button, and this is Customize. And you have a number of different elements that you can customize. You can pick a different template, you can pick a different background, you can adjust the widths, you can adjust the layout, and you can go to advanced, and this is going to let you adjust a lot of individual elements. For right now, let's just deal with this width problem. All right, we've picked a template that's uh, however wide it is, and, and it's not wide enough for our header image, so we're just gonna adjust the widths. Um, suppose I should mention before I do this, if you look at the um, layout of our blog, um, I've selected a blog where you've got the portion where the posts are and a small um, additional window down here on the right hand side where we've got different elements. Right now we just have this blog archive and about me, but we can add some elements to it. So you can, you can choose um, eight different uh, uh, layouts for your body of your blog and three different layouts for the footer of your blog. I'm just going to stick with the default one and deal with this width problem. All right, the blog is 960 pixels wide and that header image is only 900 pixels wide. All right, so you just either type right here or move that slider, you can fix it. And you can see down here um, the right sidebar, which is this portion of the blog right here, is 320 are 310 pixels wide, so our posts are 900 minus 310, which is 590. Maybe we want our posts to be a little bit bigger. Let's make that eh, about that big. That's fine. So we're going to apply that to the blog. All right. Now, this background image doesn't look too good on a widescreen. Let's remove it. And uh, if you don't want one, you can simply, um, well, that's to customize it. You can pick some different colors. They've got these different themes, which change different elements of your blog. All right. And you can see now the post, where it says sample post, it turned green. I pick purple, it turns purple. All right, I still have no background image. If you click that little triangle right there, you can select a background image. There are a lot of them in here. These are all standard images that uh, they have. 
But uh, if you pick any of these pictures, you're going to run into the same problem. When people are viewing your blog, especially if they're viewing it on a widescreen monitor, these pictures are not wide enough to deal with that. So I'd suggest you pick a pattern. Let's pick that one. Uh, let's see what else they got. I don't know. We're going to pick the robots. All right. So we picked the robots. The patterns um, are repeatable. They're seamless or tileable. So it doesn't matter how wide the um, the screen is, um, the background will work. So I applied I applied that to the blog. We've got a new um, new background that works. You can go back out here. You can view it right here, and you can see all of that worked. And in the real world, I probably would not uh, pick this pattern, especially with this template, because this window where your uh, posts are is kind of opaque, and you can see behind it, and uh, the robots and the rockets is really busy and distracting. Um, but that is how you edit the layout. Okay. So again, what we did is we went to Template. We clicked Customize. We've got the different templates that we can choose from. We have different backgrounds we can choose from. We can adjust the widths of the different elements of our blog. We can pick a different kind of layout. You know, maybe you want the sidebar to be on the left instead of the right. You can just click that right there and it would do it. All right. Now we didn't talk about this button at all. But I'm going to have to devote at least one video um, to that, but um, I'm going to leave the page. That is how you start the process of customizing your blog.